I came into college, you know, thinking I wanted to do music education, but I wasn't sure if that's what was going to fit for me. But I went to a local middle school in Ann Arbor, and I got to help with their middle school band and, you know, kind of just take on a little bit of a teaching role. And I just walked out of there, and I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. For pre-med, pre-dental, I hope to be um, working for Operation Smile, which is a um, global charity almost where they help children with cleft palate, so I plan to go into the dental aspect. I chose that career choice partly because of Concordia's fellowship and just learning about God and really just wanting to help people, and I think that's a great way to be medical and also serving the Word of God. I'm a little different of a student uh, as opposed to the typical family life student because I have more of a background in, in music and worship leading. So um, along with the regular family life responsibilities of having anything to do with ministry within the church, I'm also going to be um, heading up and leading a, a worship team, hopefully. So that's the, the plan and expectations for that. Uh, my major here at Concordia is uh, business administration, and I'm trying to focus on management. Why I choose the major is uh, I'm planning to go back home and serve my country, get this degree because uh, I'm, uh, American uh, diplomas work more in Africa, so I want to bring something new, something that people don't know. When we had talked about what my goals were and what I was interested in, um, Professor Doyle was like, oh, you'd be a perfect child life specialist. <laughs> what my role would be is to help um, relieve their stress and also to do coping techniques and procedures. So if a child were to have an IV, then I would come in and show them a doll and we'd give the doll an IV and then um, help distract them when they were getting their own IV. Many students uh, that choose a criminal justice major want to go into social work. Um, sometimes they actually want to become police officers. Some want to go on to graduate school, maybe, you know, master's programs or PhD programs. Um, a few want to go on to law school as well. So we have a, a good diversity of, of um, disciplines that students would like to pursue after their degree here at Concordia. I came in studying pre-med and I was planning on being a pediatrician, but after midway through my freshman year I decided I, God was calling me to be a teacher. I've always had a love for math and science and I decided to go into math studies. My hope is to be working with military families. There's a number of great programs available to them and I hope to be involved in those programs and working with them and helping them through the problems of, you know, um, constant relocation with you know a spouse or one or two parents you know, being deployed and being away from their kids leaving and then coming back and being reintegrated to the family I hope to support and educate them to deal with those changes and stay together. Sometimes students will come to me and have questions about their sense of calling, be, uh, be exploring that, doubting it, and I help them prayerfully evaluate different aspects of things. Uh, I wouldn't be here if, it, if I didn't find these things fully engaging and I, I weren't passionate about them. But I'm also passionate about how these topics can open up the minds of students and enlarge their world, enrich their life experience, and give them tools to go out into the world with new skills, new ways of engaging people, new understandings. Uh, the, the life you live is going to be about more than just what you're doing from nine to five. Uh, I hope everybody has an occupation that they love as much as I love mine. Um, but it's got to go beyond that. You're living a life that goes beyond that and you've got to be in tune with that uh, again so you stay awake to the world around you. I've always felt, uh, I felt from the time I was much younger that if I could just have a job where people were forced to be in a room with me for an hour and they had to talk about literature and then somebody would pay me to do that, that would be a pretty good life. Um, and that, that's what I feel like I've, I've had at Concordia um, all these years. And I, I hope that for other students that they, no matter what kind of income they earn, no matter what kind of uh, occupation they finally get into, that they can get up in the morning and say, I can't believe somebody's paying me to do this because I love it so much.